Yeah. Hi, Mary. Hey, nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Right. How you doing? Here, come over here. Okay, cool. Uh, we are here with who else? Daniel Radcliffe, who is taking some very large breaths. Yeah. What does it feel like? Um, I don't know, man. I haven't, I, I haven't breathed out since like Friday when the fact that the Tonys were happening this week really became a reality. Um, I've been so nervous all day, and this feels like a moment of actually like I was mostly scared that I would, if I had to make a speech, that I would forget someone and all the other people getting out notes i want to say thank you to them because it gave me permission to do the same yeah um and yeah i don't know it's it's unbelievable yeah i'm so i'm so um honest here's what's so interesting to me you come from obviously we, we all grew up with you we all grew up together watching your movies and, and you inspired a whole generation of actors but what's so interesting is that after all that you've kind of dedicated your career to the theater. You've done some incredible movies, but you keep coming back to Broadway. Yeah, I mean, my mom and dad were both theater actors when they were younger, and they took me to the theater at loads when I was a kid, and so it always became, it was just part of being an actor, was yeah. if you are gonna do film, you are probably gonna do theater as well at some point. And, and also, I just feel like it's been a place where I have been able to figure out who I am as an actor and being given chances on stage that I might not have been given on film to like take very big swings at like how to succeed 10 years ago or Equus or whatever it was and uh, yeah I feel like every time I do stage I come away from it a better actor yeah you, Equus how to succeed but you won the Tony Award for this show yeah what does that mean why this show why is this why why did you say yes to doing this oh show? my god well how could I not I I, I I was completely unaware of any of the history of Merrily were all along except for that I saw um, Maria's production of it, it in this production in London in 2013 and I was blown away by it um, and I did watch uh, Damien Humbley who played Charlie in that uh, sing Frank and Shepard Inc and I went wow I would love to have a go at that one day I love I love that um, that song um, and I didn't and then so when I didn't know necessarily that would come to pass and then when Maria came to me with doing this I was just like yes I have to you get one of the hardest songs in the musical theater canon it's not <laughs> it's, it's not? not it's not <laughs> it's just fast and people mistake fast for hard like Jonathan Groff doing growing up I think is a much harder song because you have these long sustained acting and it's it's this storytelling stuff from yeah, so, but but thank you for the implied compliment. And mostly I have to ask, what is it like working with my friend Reg Rogers? Does he cause mischief on stage? Is he? You, uh, you, you I've love worked Reg. with him. I love I Reg. I love Reg, Reg so much. Yeah. Reg is, I was so sad he wasn't nominated in the category yeah. as well. I, Reg is the actor I wish I could be, but will never be, because I can't do what he does, because no one can, because he's Reg Rogers. Yeah. I, I, every night I'm on stage with him, I just watch in awe. Yeah. Well, here's what we're going to have you do. Uh, pick a color marker over there, and you are going to sign your... Uh, poster which is just over here Jonathan Tunick uh, signed it pretty darn perfectly <sighs> Daniel Radcliffe best featured actor in a musical congratulations thank you so much Absolutely. thank you, thank you. Put this back <laughs> you <as well. laughs> All right. thank Daniel you very Radcliffe. much everybody thank you so much thank you thank you thank you